Hello to my dear viewers. This is Rupali Samant. And I'm back with you with my series of home workouts. I thought that this would be the right time to create these small videos for all women, children and men who are now homebound. This is the best time to work out at home. We normally work out in the open, you work out in the gym. So make the most of it when you're at home. Today I thought I should work on the abs. That's the, the most important part, your core. How do you strengthen your core? How do you work on your core? Let me show you a few workouts, which uh, you can do it any time of the day. You can do it anywhere. And now that you're in the house, you can do it from your home itself. All you need is a mat, a bottle of water and a napkin. So let's get into a lying down position where you lie down on the mat. And one thing for sure is that make sure that your back is not sucked into the ground. Don't push your back inside. So that ensures that your pelvis is tucked up. Don't do that. I need that space, keep that space between your back and the mat. Okay, keep your core tight. Let your core be neutral. Neutral in the sense it should be in a position where if you put place um, a cup and saucer on your abs, it doesn't wobble and fall. It should be that position where your pelvis is held up. It's pulled up, okay? This gap in between is very important. Let the gap be. So we start with a very simple workout. We have our feet at hip distance. Don't keep it too far away. Don't keep it too close to your uh, body and don't keep your feet so close. Keep it at your hip distance. All you need to do is, with your feet at your hip distance, you just need to lift your upper back. So you come up slowly and you go down. You come up slowly and you go down. So before you come up, I would like you to inhale. Inhale, come up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So let's start. We can do it with 10 counts. You can do it twice. If you are a beginner, I would suggest start with five counts. Go slow, but go steady. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You will do this for 10 counts. And you can repeat it twice. It's up to you. You can take a 20 second break. You can take a 30 second break. The ones who are advanced, I say put your hand behind your neck and come up. And go down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale when you come up, exhale when you go down and you do this for 10 counts. So this is your basic ab workout. Those who can do it, who have a slightly stronger core, can lift your legs up. This is called the tabletop workout. Okay, your legs are on top, 90 degrees, it's called tabletop. And all you need to do is put your hands behind your neck and come up, go down, come up, go down, come up, go down. And it is very similar to your breathing when you have your feet on the ground. So this is your second workout. Your third workout can be for those who have a stronger core. So that means those who are in the advanced level or those who are used to working out, for them, if they feel that your feet on, on the ground or tabletop is easy, they can extend it to 45 degrees and come up, go down, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and do this 10 times. And while doing it, you will see 
that your core is engaged. You can feel the vibration. Your abs will vibrate, your upper abs start vibrating, right? So there are three forms of doing this. Your feet on the ground, tabletop, and extended legs at 45 degrees. So it's for the basic, intermediate, and the advanced. But let me tell you, please go slow, don't be in a rush. You have a lot of time in hand. If you want to continue what you're doing without injury, please go slow. Now we will do something which uh, will engage your neck and your abs together. Watch how the form is. Do not, do not force your neck and do not work out with your neck. So here we are going to keep our hands straight ahead of us and just come up and go down. Inhale, come up, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Go down, exhale, come up, inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Go down. You can do this for five counts for beginners. For intermediate 10 counts and for the advanced level you could do it for 20 counts the extension of this or a little difficult version of this would be if you lift your upper body and you only start lift your upper body lift your hand is what we did earlier but now I want you to go a little up and down but it's not a huge up and down range. It is just a little small ones. You could say it. So my shoulder is being worked. I'm not working anything else. There's no need to work this because it's not going to help. Okay. So we start. We then lift up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Go down, come up, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, go down. You can do this in all five times because your neck is involved out here. You got to make sure that you don't come up with your neck. This neck movement should happen. Be very careful of that. Don't strain your neck because we don't want any injuries for any part of your body. Come up slowly, gently, breathe in, hold it and for a smaller range. It should be a small range. It's not a long range which it doesn't help you and it's not a workout then. After this, we move on to our next workout and that is called ankle touch. Now as the name suggests you need to reach out to your ankle. So your feet have to be down, hip length apart and then you start. You lift your body and tap on one side, tap on the other, tap on the right, tap on the left. Now when you're doing it, it looks very easy. It is easy but we do not want this whole body shifting. We want you to have a strong core. We're doing this to strengthen your core. So it's very important that you stabilize your abs by keeping your core tight. Right? So when you're going to touch your ankle, your upper body lifts and only your hand is touching your ankle. This is how you do. You right touch, left touch, right touch, left touch. I'm not moving. See, this is not how I'm going to do. It doesn't help. We are only extending our arms to touch our ankles. That's it. Go slow. Touch. Touch. You can do it five times right and left. Or if your core is stronger, you can extend it to ten counts. And if you think you can sustain being up with your upper back, holding it tight, with a stronger core, push yourself to 20 counts. But give it a shot. This is a wonderful workout. 
Now that we are working out our abs, I think we should also work on our love handles. And how do we do that? A very simple workout. When we are working out our abs, I think we should also work on our love handles. And how do we do that? A very simple workout. We need to lift one leg, okay, and the other. And lengthen one side and hold your head, hands behind, okay, and come up. Go down, get the other leg forward, opposite leg, opposite hand, come up, go down, opposite leg, opposite hand, breathe in, come up, breathe out, go down. Now, if you think this is difficult, then let me show you a simple one. Then you can just have for basics or for beginners who are not used to working out, especially for building up strong core, I suggest you put your feet on the ground and all you do is just lift your upper body and turn to your side. On one side, go down, come up on the other side, go down, Breathe in, go side, breathe out, breathe in, go on the side, breathe out, up, side, up, down, up, side, up, down. So this is an easy workout for beginners. Now if you feel that you have moved from this stage by doing your regular workouts, intermediate viewers, you can lift your legs up and put it on tabletop. This is a tabletop position. Put your hands behind and you could go up, center, down. Up, side, center, down. Breathe in, go sides, center, breathe out. Breathe in, go on the side, come in the center, breathe out. So this you could do again for 5 counts, 10 counts and 20 counts. If you think think that you can you move from five counts with your feet down and then going on to your side finish 10 counts 20 counts on both sides then you come to this intermediate level with your feet on tabletop position core held tight breathe in breathe out correctly the third option is for your advanced viewers who work out regularly where they come up tabletop position one leg extended one leg closer to you and again breathe in go on your side cup to your center breathe out get the opposite leg forward go on to your side with the opposite hand and you work out with again 5 counts, 10 counts and finally 20 counts. This is how you know that your workout is effective because these movements or these exercises leave you feeling refreshed, your core feels tighter and you want to go, you want to be on that move. But all this is possible, you can get good abs only if you do this regularly and also if you eat well. It's not about um, only working out. Always remember that food plays an important role. And also with all these things happening right now, with the coronavirus gripping our minds, I would request all of you to focus on things that you love. 
to focus on things that would help you through these tough times. For example, if you love working out, give your best here. Focus on your workouts. Focus on what you love like reading, creating, something new, it could be art. Even the best thing to do at this time is start get into yoga, get into meditation. You could do this app workout, you could eat right and if you meditate, it's mind, body and your soul, a combination which is very important at such times. So I hope you like my video and if there's any query, do not hesitate to get in touch with me through your comments. I'm here to guide you. I'm going to be making many more videos. So see you soon. Stay safe, stay happy and stay focused.